All right, so my last video, uh, I was talking about how like I kind of feel depressed streaming. Well, it's, I mean, I, I do to a certain extent, right? But it's not like I'm, I'm completely down about it. I got a comment on it though, that was really kind of well thought out. And when I first read it, I got pissed off um, just because I had like a negative response to it rather than kind of seeing it with a, you know, an, a, a sense of optimism, I viewed it negatively. So I'd like to just go over that comment because I think it's more important to talk about it and like start being, I guess, open with you guys rather than just doing one video where I say some weird shit and everyone thinks I'm going to quit and then going from there. So this comment is from Kubanashi. Um, it's a long one, so I'm going to read it. Then I guess I'm going to react to it, I guess. Uh, it says, you have to see that you're in the entertainment business. People get entertained in different ways, like music, your original audience, like comedy, the do you know the way meme, like drama, etc. Your original audience was mainly there for the music, of course, but there was comedy, but music was the main theme. With the do you know the way meme, your channel got many viewers, but most of them just left because of the comedy aspect, or were there for the comedy aspect. The meme died, the comedy went away, and so did the new viewers. The problem was how you reacted. I don't want to blame... You, I probably would have reacted the same way. You stated to ask yourself where all the viewers went and blamed it on the Twitch thing. Your stream started to become a little depressed and so you gained a little more viewers with the drama of someone blowing up and shortly after that losing viewers rapidly. But these were people who like drama, not music. People with drama, it gets fast, boring. It gets boring fast so the little push helped not much. So now let's watch it, your current viewership. There are people who came with the meme and are bored because that what you do is not as funny anymore. Not in the way that you're not funny. It's just not the humor of the meme for which they came. Then there are people who came for the drama. They are leaving slash will leave soon because drama doesn't hold long. And finally, there are people who actually came for the music and beatboxing. This people, guess what, are leaving too. They are not leaving because they don't like what you do, but because they don't see why they came for anymore. The original audience came for a happy, wobbly boy who beatboxes. Uh, but now the reduced views hit you so hard you stop doing your thing. They want to leave. Now people that check in your stream who watch you during your prime time ask what happened. The problem is this is the internet. People are not very nice. When people see your negative reaction to the question, there are three things that often happen. They don't care. Meme audience. They feel bad. Original music audience. They think it is entertaining. Drama audience. I know this is not fair, but you can stop entertaining the viewers that you got. I know your main problem is your different viewer groups and that you try to satisfy all of them. The thing is when you entertain one group, the other viewers are not happy. This is difficult and a problem that many YouTubers and streamers face. Now, I don't stream, but for the experience of other YouTubers, you should just do what you like. Just look at your audience and choose what you, who you want to please. Sorry for this essay, but I hope you can understand like it better when it happens. When I first read this, I was really pissed off because I, you know, um, I, I view everything negatively, right? So, like, to me, when I first got banned off Twitch, I kind of used that as a negative or, I guess, a, a toxic, a reason to be toxic, you know? I was addicted to people on Twitter. Um, I never really let it affect my real life because I feel like my internet and my real life are completely separated, but I definitely was toxic to people online. And that definitely just, it, it attracts your tribe, you know? I feel like a lot of people left or just stopped watching me because of that, you know? No one likes to view negativity unless it's a garbage fire. And I think I'm like good enough where I'm not a garbage fire, but I'm also kind of like just being negative for the reason of being negative. I find it now more than ever, like I'll play a video game and I'll fucking just get so mad when I die and all that stupid shit. And your comment really does make a lot of sense. But I also think like, I think I'm able to be saved. I just need to stop being such a fucking piece of shit about everything, you know? Like I'll sit here and I'll stream and you're totally right. Like I stopped singing and doing all my stuff because I just lost so much, pe like... I'm so insecure with my platform now. And this is the, I guess this is the main point of what I, my reaction, my response is when I was originally doing Twitch and stuff, I felt like I was on top of the world. I had a lot of confidence. So when people would make fun of me or some shit, I was just able to deal with it um, positively, you know? And now that I'm on YouTube and I'm just doing this and I'm just trying to create content, it's like, I, I'm not on the top of the world, you know? I'm insecure. I'm definitely on a decline and like, I, uh, I let that get to me every single day and I've let that make me negative and I let that affect friendships and, uh, you know, networking that I had prior to this and I, uh, you know, I've lost connections and just a whole bunch of other stuff and I feel like that's my fault 
you know? And you're totally right. Like, he, he mentioned in there how, like, losing Twitch didn't make me lose my platform and didn't make me lose viewers. It just made me... Obviously, it shifted how I viewed streaming and how I view my platform. And, like, that's something I've just been, like, dealing with, you know? Um, it's been three months since I lost Twitch, and, like, I feel like I... It's like baby steps, but I'm getting there and to all the people who are like don't quit don't I'm never gonna quit I love my job and I love this so much and like I love entertaining people like my whole my whole life I've always just wanted to make people laugh. Um, I always wanted to be a comedian and I always love music um, So being able to do what I do and do both of those things. It's fucking beautiful but I, I have, I've always had this issue where I go for one thing uh, over everything else, right? So like when I was doing the Do You Know The Way meme, I was doing just comedy and then I was doing just music um, now and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I need to be able to combine everything and kind of feel comfortable doing it like I was when I was streaming all the time and I was like really practicing a lot. So in retort to your comment, uh, I would just say I'm happy with what I'm able to do. And even if I don't have all the viewers in the world, that's not the point. I think the point is, you're totally right. Like, I should just do what I like and go with the flow and stop being negative and stop letting everything affect me in a negative fashion and then showing you guys that it's affecting me because that's what's making me lose viewers at the end of the day. It's my attitude towards it. My personality is still the same. My music is still good. Um, and I've always been insecure about music. So, like, me even saying that, like, kind of hurts my heart. Uh, cause I'm super fucking inconfident about it, but, uh, letting myself kind of fall into that trap is just continuing the cycle. So yeah, <laughs> this is another depressing one. I, there's going to be happy ones and shit. I don't know uh, if you guys like this, tell me cause it's kind of weird and I, it's, uh, it's really therapeutic for me, which is something I, I guess I need, um, and the people that are on this channel are the people who really fuck with me and watch me and care about me from what I feel. Um, you know, this is kind of like my new Twitch. And Twitch was really super personal for me. So, like, this is super personal. And, uh, you know, thank you guys for being here. I don't know. Uh, see ya.